so we've commissioned three papers for this event on January 16th. Uh, one is by John Williams, who is the president of the San Francisco Fed, and he's writing on uh, the Fed's policies following the uh, Great Recession. And in particular, he's looking at the asset purchases, the uh, relatively innovative way that the Federal Reserve purchased a lot of treasury bills and mortgage-backed securities. What does he conclude about the effectiveness of this and looking forward how, uh, how the Fed should use this in decision-making uh, come ne the next crisis? Well, we're really lucky to have a guy like John Williams participating because he's been the president of the San Francisco Fed since 2011. Before that, he was an important staffer, so he was really there on the front lines. And what he says in his paper is, first of all, Central bankers shouldn't assume this is a one-off incident, that they should expect other times that interest rates will fall to zero, uh, which is a big change in the thinking of central banks. He does that by looking across history and across countries and saying this was not as unusual as some people think. Secondly, he says that the Fed, in buying bonds, hundreds of billions of dollars of bonds, really did have an impact on lowering interest rates. He's convinced of that. He's convinced that mortgages were cheaper because of what the Fed did than they would have been otherwise. But he admits that it's very hard to know how much cheaper they would have been. And finally, he says that the Fed's unusual candor, its openness about how long it expects to keep short-term interest rates near zero is both textbook economics based on the textbooks that he helped write for times like this and be extremely successful. It took him a while to get the hang of it, but now it is really working. Well, you talked about the textbooks he wrote. He also recently, maybe how long ago is it now, four years ago, wrote a paper for the Brookings Papers on economic activity, and there he talked about the inflation target that the Fed should use. Uh, is he talk about that in this paper and moving forward, uh, as you suggested, the, the Fed might find itself at the zero lower bound at a position where it can't lower the short-term interest rates anymore. What is he saying are the questions that need to be addressed for the next time around? Right. In his paper, he ends by asking some questions, which he doesn't really answer. And one of them one is the one to which you refer. The Fed and other major central banks have been aiming at inflation of about 2%. And he's raising the question whether that's too low, because it doesn't give them enough of a cushion to keep interest rates above zero. And the, the open question is, which is really extraordinary for a modern central banker to raise, is should they aim at maybe 3% or 4% inflation so they have more margin, more sa margin of safety, and will find themselves less often at zero interest rates?